Hello, we are the Yale Management Team, which stands for Young Empowered Lives. We are a group of young people whose aim is working towards improving life in hostels for other young people. This is a documentary we have put together about our views on life in hostels and how they could possibly be improved. This is something we are passionate about, so please take the time to listen to our views. Enjoy. Positives! Well, what do you think are the good things about living in a hostel? Um, freedom, main thing. Once you get your freedom, don't really want to go back. Honest, when you're in a hostel, you've got your friends outside the hostel when you was at school, but you seem to forget about them because you've got a new friendship, you've got like a new family when you're in the hostels. Just meet more people, get along with more people, experience other people's problems. Maybe sometimes it won't bring you down to know that other people have got problems as well. And just bond with more people as well. Help people through a hard situation. I've got my own space from where I was before. I can talk to support workers if I need to. I suppose, yeah, it is like good if you've got nowhere else to go. Like, you need somewhere else to go, like, if you're homeless. There's, Once a week, they actually, have a little menu. Yeah, and we, we got, today, we got to make our menu of what we're eating the next week, so we get a little bit of input into the food. It's just a load of laughs. Everyone has a good time at times, and then you just, you, you get on with it, really. You get over your little issues with other residents and just get on with, like, daily day stuff. Negatives. Key working, oh god, that's just terrible. I, I've only had like four key working sessions or whatever within like two years. No help at all. Four children, like seven oaks, yeah, it's one big family. You won't say you don't know family day at all. It's just arguments every day, too many people, different age groups, cause arguments all the time in the canteen. Yeah, you ain't no family, you know who you know and you stick to them. It's not good for to know long periods of living to just put you in a worse place I suppose because you're not you're not working and it's easier not to work and just sit about. You're living with a bunch of other young people that do drugs which makes you spend more money on drugs if you follow influence of other people and the fact that you only have to live off 53 pounds yeah. it's pretty shit so you have to pay 60 pound rent roughly around all hostels at high support. So you're not left with a lot of all them? No. And it's keeping up with the work as well, along with the issues that are going on with the house. So often if there's an argument within the house, you struggle to do your coursework because you can't concentrate properly. Improvements. Improvements. <laughs> Doing one-off trips and stuff like that, yeah, they're fun, they're great, they're amazing, but you need to find something that you're going to go to every Constantly, week. Constantly, yeah. Yeah, something that, you, that you're going to commit to, say like a 12-week programme or something like that. Oh, okay. And then 12 oh. weeks of you do something, at the end of it, you get an end project from it, you get something from the end of it. That That's what's going to make it better. That's what's going to make people more interested. Identification when you move into a hostel, I reckon that'd be a brilliant idea. Like a hostel card or something to show that you're in hostels. Yeah, or something with your date of birth and a picture of yourself on it, I reckon that'd be a brilliant idea to be fair. Would in Bournemouth, in Bournemouth to you've got like, well. you've got the hostels, so you've got like Felix, you've got all them stuff, like the move on places, and then you've got the main hostels, but like the YMCA is like, not like connected with everyone else. The YMCA is their own little business and you've got BCH all around, which isn't good, like if you've got all hostels you should like make it all together. Yeah, it should be free for everyone from hostels, not just like free for the people at that hostel. Yeah. If that makes sense. Everyone else, everyone else yeah. in the hostel are in the same situation, getting the same amount of money, paying the same amount of rent. So, like, they should put it together. Like, we're all hostels in Bournemouth. Like, everyone who's in the position should be able to use like the, like, the facilities for free. Right, this instead of just instead of just the YMCA. All right. I reckon straight away when someone moves into a hostel, they should get offered to be a looked after child anyway. Straight away when they move into hostels, because it benefits you so much to be a looked after child. They got yeah, a lot more it. support. And when, when you're 18 or when you just first turn 18, there's a lot lot changes for you in hostels. Like, you, you get kicked out, you can't, you, it's difficult to get into another hostel. Right, this is the YMCA hostel. This is the canteen where the residents eat their meals every day. This is the communal area where we have the pool table, TV where everyone can meet up, have a chat and get to see each other. In this hostel there is 64 rooms and there are also 25 flats. 
This is Seven Oaks going into the communal area. This is the kitchen which the residents can use. We also have 11 rooms in Seven Oaks, so quite a family communal hostel. Here's an example of one of the residents' rooms. They're quite big rooms actually. This is Fortuna House. We also have a communal room here. We have a room where we can study in. A couple computers, a laundry facility. We also have 12 bedrooms at Fortuna House and an extra emergency room as well where you can stay for a maximum of two weeks until you get found some suitable accommodation. Recently we visited the YMCA in Southampton and this was a complete contrast to the Bournemouth YMCA. Everything at the Southampton YMCA included all our ideas for change such as the support is high to low encouraging independent living for example the rent only £7.60 a week this is with housing benefit but this means that the residents can cook for themselves and provide their own meals and there are also less restrictions regarding rules and curfews we felt this hostel was our ideal hostel because it encourages young people to grow up more independently and move on with their lives and that Bournemouth hostels could benefit from this example Yale yeah, helped me find somewhere to live when I've been homeless more than once. It's helped me find friends in similar situations as it's been a place to go and have fun and take my mind off things, such as learn to cook, get haircuts, learn to give haircuts, relax with friends, play on computer games, get advice and support for health and benefits. Without Yale, I wouldn't be where I am now. It's given me the push I needed to get somewhere and get back on track with my life. If there's one thing that I can change about youth hostels, it should be get rid of the curfews because they are absolutely rubbish and they say we're meant to treat it as our homes. I think, I think they should change the rent because when you get your money, like half of your money's gone already. If, if not, like 60% of it is gone and like you, you only have like 40% to spend on yourself for the next two weeks. If there's one thing that I'd change about hostels um, is like, I feel like you put your point across but no one really listens and that basically I think that should be a, a main thing to be looked at. Um, what's the question? Uh, what I'd change about hostels is like some staff members have got their favourite person and I want us all to be treated the same.